But obviously, this is da da da, and that's again we didn't talk about earlier on in terms of linguistics because the new wanted to speak to you about it now. But you know, da 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 was is a base you know that you uh, introduced me to uh, through Ringcraft, and again, mm -hmm. again, it's the term, isn't it? Ringcraft. People kind of see Ringcraft and they go, "That's the one." I want to master the ring and they want to master right. the ring before they master themselves. Uh, and this is kind of why they, they jump in at this one. A load of people start this one and then have to backtrack because they haven't got the coordination, the ability to, to do what's shown in this, because even though you explain it so well and make it accessible, there, there's, there's, there's a lot that goes on to get to this point, isn't there? And, and it's funny because as, as soon as you just finished your sentence, you know, one of the first things I thought about was, was the skipping steps part of it in terms of, okay, so I jump right into this tutorial because I feel I'm ready to do this. But like you said, I don't have the base to be able to just stand and walk to my left or walk to my right. And what ends up happening is, because we've skipped steps in the tutorial, we've also skipped steps in our processing, in our processing. And so now I've seen a lot of people that, and sorry, no offense to anybody, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've seen a lot of people buy this tutorial and do the drills wrong. What did they do wrong? They skipped steps. So you actually hit the nail on the head earlier when you talked about the process of coaching and reactive mitts, the process of coaching and agility tutorial prepares you for ring craft. Not just the technique, but also how to learn it, how to coach it. I've seen some I, in the video, Stuart. I'm sorry, I'm incredulous right now. In the video, I've told people I do two rounds going to the left with no punches. You know how many people have said that have sent me videos with this tutorial and they're like switching stances and do and their, their feet are all over the place. And I'm like, show me your program. What did you do? Ah, I did, uh, I came in. I went to the left for one minute. I went to the right, and it's like, bro, girl, sorry, everybody, bro, girl. It's like you, you skip steps in a processing. So I think everything you said is layered into a, this tutorial. It's like if we don't have the reactivists to understand kind of my process and how I coach, you haven't seen a jitter tutorial, and you haven't really learned how to layer the cake and master yourself. And by the time you get to the ring craft, also I'm going to say something that's going to be a little may, may hurt some people. If you're buying my tutorials just to make social media videos, you're not going to learn anything, guys. Like, if you watch the tutorial, I've, you know, there's coaches, like, I won't name any names. There's high-level coaches. I won't name their names. They've been studying my tutorials for five years. And when I'm saying studying, I just finished talking to a coach that had a big fight last week in the UFC. He's one of my best friends. We talk all the time on the phone, literally once a week. And he has notes, a notebook, a spiral notebook full of notes on my tutorials. And mind you, he's coaching UFC champions. So you're telling me a guy that's at a lower level is going to come in and he's just watched the tutorial once, hasn't taken any notes, and has got it mastered? Guys, that's not the way my system works. You're shorting yourself. And you kind of like, if you're going to spend the money, like really invest yourself in a product. Take notes. Watch it over a few years. Take your time with it. Follow the program. Don't skip steps. You know, that, that's what I would really encourage people to do. Yeah, I mean, I agree completely. I mean, the I mean, Ringcraft is a game changer in itself because it's about um, it's about controlling the space, isn't it? You know, when, when it's that next level from mastering agility, which is kind of mastering yourself. Ringcraft, mm -hmm. like I mentioned, is okay, now you can control your own body. Let's mm -hmm. see if you can control the space. Can you can because right. the, the, the distance between you and your opponent is is the first opponent, isn't it? Can who who masters this? Yeah, who masters this no man's land? Um, right. And 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 even now, I'll, I'll be honest with everyone watching this. I've been drilling this for years, and I struggle. I still kind of have to think about southpaw da 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 to my mm. my right and left, and especially when you add in the the faint switches that you go through in this program, I right. still feel like my southpaw when I do that is a mental challenge. I find my orthodox. I think I've. I kind of own that now, but I right. still think that that southpaw for me. And and again, I've I've put loads. Of, yeah, I put loads of rounds into this. And and I, anyone watches this is how I start when I come into the gym and I train on my own. How I start is always mastering agility, ring craft, base footworks, and I I do go through the rounds. I do 
what left da 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 left i do i do do them and even doing that i still think southpaw da 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 for me is 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 still that that you know that little mental that little mental I'll, thing that you have to kind of go through now i'll give you i'll give you one for me now i've been doing the drills super long and you know what i noticed like sometimes is it conventional southpaw sometimes when i'm southpaw you know what i end up doing myself i'm on my heels so sometimes I feel myself on my heels and I get mad at myself and I'm able to notice that and try to correct it. But I guess my point in saying that is you're four years in, I'm plus a decade in, and there's always like little things you could tweak. So I think the point coming into that is systems checks, agility tutorial, uh, this tutorial, Ringcraft. These are all systems checks and you can never not improve. You can never not improve uh, these particular drills. Someone's just said in the comment section, actually, uh, um, uh, Nicholas, I'm guilty of buying Ringcraft first. Uh, uh, I, don't worry, Nicholas, you're not on your own. I, I've, I know there's a few people who buy that first. And, um, and, and again, again, I get it. You know, when you watch, you're like, dude, that's, that's what I want to do. Because, because again, right. you know, if you know, if you, when you describe Ringcraft to someone, let's say they've gone through Master and Agility and they've gone through Reactive Mits, how do you describe, you know, Ringcraft as the, as the, the next addition to this system then? Uh, I would say that obviously Ringcraft is a, it's a very fun base, right? It's a base you can have a lot of fun with, which is why a lot of people want to skip to that base, right? It's a super fun base, but for me also, so you guys know, I don't know if you guys know, but I have maybe five or six main bases and uh dot that hour go step is one of them. And this movement you can do so much with. You can you can control the clock with. You can decide to be on the outside. You can set up offense with. You know, if you guys want a good example of that, check out a Coley versus Lodi where he was conventional, switched to southpaw, out of the out of the thought that I came back conventional, landed left hook, knocked the guy down. So there's a lot of things you could do. It's such like it's a Swiss Army knife. It's, it just depends on what range you're at and also your film study, because and that's something we haven't really mentioned. How many film study references do I drop in my tutorial, Stuart? You drop a lot. Even even, like, even after filming, I had to go back uh, and go. I don't. I had to. I had to research after the filming to see what you're on about. God, I'm like a preacher on a Sunday with my film study verses. <laughs> so turn to Corinthians chapter one. No kidding. But uh, no, guys, you guys got to do the film study references because that's what gives you confidence in what you're doing. So. You know, do, you got to do the drills, plus film study, plus do the drills again, plus hold yourself accountable. I think I'm pretty sure I said in the tutorial when you make mistakes. I, I, did I mention this? Sorry to record yourself. Yes. Film yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mentioned to film yourself. And a lot of you guys, you, the keys to success are in the tutorial. I say, guys, this is how you're going to program it. Film yourself. Scrutinize yourself. Give yourself push-ups for mistakes. These are all the way I train fighters in the gym. That's just a fact. You can, you can ask anybody. I'm, I'm not different in my, in my tutorials. I literally bare my soul to you guys. So, yeah, don't skip steps. Don't skip steps. And I think you'll have a deeper understanding than just the movement. 